What's up Tech Gangsta Fun here from TechRed. Today I'm going to be showing you 10 Samsung Galaxy A20 features you must know. Stay tuned. Alright everyone, I hope you guys are having a good day. If you guys got the new Samsung Galaxy A20 or even thinking about getting this device, I have some very, very awesome features I need to show you guys. Without further ado, let's just go ahead and get into it. Now the first thing is actually simulating the notch cutout. So what you're going to want to go ahead and do is go to the settings. You're going to next want to scroll down all the way to about phone click on about phone. Once you're here, you're going to want to go and click on software information. Once you're here, you're going to click on build number multiple times and you're going to put in your password. Once your password is enabled, it says developer mode has been turned on. And if you back out of all your information, you should scroll up and see the developer options right there. Now you guys have finally unlocked the potential of this device. So let's go and click on developer options. Go ahead and click on the search bar. And the first thing you want to go ahead and type in is notch. Once you type in notch, it's going to say simulate display with cutout. Now this is a very, very cool thing. I've done a separate video on this. It's going to go ahead and cue you to go and click on this, but there's a few different things we can do with this. Now we can put a corner cutout on this device. Let's go and put that on there. And basically what happens is we get a corner notch on the right side of the device. Um, but my favorite thing to do with the simulate display cutout is actually the tall cutout. So a lot of people don't like this little thin cutout. Honestly, I feel like most people do, but some people want something a little more different. Maybe you want to be unique or whatever, but we have the tall cutout right there. Now with the tall cutout, it looks definitely a little more unique. And honestly, in my opinion, it looks pretty cool. So if you guys want to be a little different for whatever reason, you guys can go ahead and do that. Next thing is I'm going to show you how to speed up your device. So basically, Basically go to developer options so it's basically the first step on getting the developer options go to window animation scale put it to 0.5 transition animation scale put it to 0.5 and animator duration scale and put that to 0.5 and you guys are definitely going to tell right away that your device did get much quicker as you guys can see super super quick so your animation isn't going to be as long as it usually is it's actually going to open applications in half the time so 0.5 equals half the time, one times equals the regular duration. You can actually make it longer if you guys would like to. And if you really want to, you can go ahead and turn all the animations off. And this is how you make your phone super fast. Next thing I'm going to show you is very, very basic. Now, this is in the drop down bar menu, but I honestly love this mode. Now, I don't have it turned on currently because for the sake of this video, but usually I have this mode turned on and I know a lot of people love the dark modes, you know, especially on Twitter, YouTube and all these other social media applications. But usually there is no dark mode on a phone unless you guys want to go ahead and download a launcher. So let's go ahead and take the drop down bar and go to the right. And as you guys see, we have night mode right here. Go ahead and turn that on and it makes everything darker. As you guys can see, the whole layout is darker. That little Google thing is darker. Your applications are gonna be darker. You know, if you go into the settings, that is going to be dark mode as well. So if you guys wanna go ahead and turn that on, very, very simple, go down to your drop down bar menu, go ahead and scroll right there, find night mode. You can go ahead and turn that off if you don't want it or turn it on if you'd want it. Next thing I'm gonna be showing you is how to get free themes. Now basically you're gonna to have to go ahead and sign into your Samsung account, but this is all you have to do. Go ahead and hold on the screen, go to your themes right there. And we actually have some really nice free themes that I actually downloaded already. Let's go ahead and click on these themes. These are my themes that I have right now. This is the Splendid Planet Lunar Eclipse. We're gonna go ahead and apply that right now. It takes a few seconds, but definitely worth it if you're getting bored of your phone. You guys see it's loading right now, super quick. And there you go, the theme has been applied now. As you guys can see, we have a new background, we have a new font for the applications. It's just basically a new UI. And if you guys do want to go ahead and put this on your phone, which I think a lot of you should go ahead and put this on your phone. If you're getting bored of your phone already, you guys need to do something to customize it. Let's go ahead and check out settings though. And as you guys see, everything's different. We have different colors, different fonts. Everything looks nice, different shapes and stuff. Um, let's go into our messaging application. And as you guys see, our keyboard is different as well. We basically have like this glow in the dark keyboard, which I think is really, really cool. But yeah, if you guys want to go ahead and do that, go into themes. Now the next two secret features, a lot of people don't actually know about, which I thought was really, really cool. Now these are my favorite features so far because I use the camera so much is in the camera application. Let's go ahead and go over here. 
let's go into the settings but what we're gonna want to do is go into camera settings scroll all the way to the bottom and you're going to go to quick launch so it's gonna say quick launch you're gonna go ahead and turn that on and if you quickly press the power key twice to open the camera it's actually gonna open so we're gonna go ahead and try that out right now your power key is gonna be on the right side of your phone one two and that opens the camera so very very simple and easy definitely convenient if you guys catch you know a fight or something you guys want to take a picture or video of very quickly go ahead and press the power button down twice really fast one two and as you guys see straight into the camera application now the next and probably my favorite feature is very secret a lot of people don't know about this I even talked to a few friends that actually have this device and they do not know about this uh, go into settings and this is basically going to be the zoom in and out with the volume key. So what you're going to want to do is scroll all the way down, go to shooting methods. And we're going to have this little thing up here that says press volume key two. And we have three different things we can do. So it says system volume. So you can set the system volume. You can take a picture or record video, just like we have that on Instagram and Snapchat for a story feature. But my favorite thing to do with this is zoom. So, as you guys know, a lot of these newer phones don't utilize the volume key to actually zoom. But if you guys want to actually use your phone as a digital camera and you guys don't care about holding this to, you know, take a photo or take a video, then we can actually use this to zoom, which I thought was really cool because I kind of feel a little nostalgic using this. As you guys can see, we're going and pressing down to zoom out, zoom back in. But it's kind of nostalgic, honestly, on my, I had an old Samsung phone that did this. And it's really cool if you guys want to go ahead and use analog buttons instead of virtual buttons. So I thought that was pretty cool. Now the next feature I'm going to be showing you is basically just for aesthetics. So if you guys want your phone to look cool while it's off or while it's charging, this is what you want to do. Go ahead and go to your settings. We're going to go ahead and type in screensaver. So once we type in screensaver, we're going to go ahead and click on that. So now we get a little description of a screensaver. It says show a screensaver after the screen turns off automatically while your phone is charging. So what you're going to want to go and do is go ahead and turn that on. And you guys can actually change this if you'd like. You can change it to photo table, photo frame, or different photos that are actually in your gallery. Maybe you have your family, you know, your kids, maybe your girlfriend or a wife. Go ahead and put that on there and they can actually be your screensaver while your phone is charging. Now, just for example, I'm going to have this on colors and I'm going to basically show you how this works. So go ahead and plug in your charger like you usually do. I'm going to go ahead and plug that in and your phone's going to turn on. We're going to go ahead and wait for this to turn off, but your screensaver should start once the phone is asleep. All right, guys, so the phone has turned off. And as you guys see, we do have colors as a screensaver. Uh, but you guys can do many other things such as photos and uh, slideshows and stuff. So I thought this was pretty cool. Next thing I'm going to be showing you is how to change your keyboard. So we're going to want to go in settings and we're going to want to go to search. We're going to type in high contrast keyboard. So as you guys see right here, we have high contrast keyboard. Go ahead and click on that. Now there are many different things you can do. But honestly, I do like this feature because it just changes a lot about the keyboard and you won't get bored of the keyboard. So go ahead and turn this on. Go ahead and click right here. And you guys can change the color of the keyboard. So right here we have yellow, we have black one, black two, and we have blue. Now I don't know if Samsung's going to update this with more keyboards later. I'm sure they will in another patch but you guys can go ahead and change the colors and the contrast of the keyboard. So if you guys can't see too well, this is definitely something to use because it defines the letters and the colors more and you can see the letters and numbers more easily. The next thing is actually right under high contrast keyboard and it's magnifier window. So this is for the heart of seeing. It basically says magnifying content that's shown on the screen. You're gonna go ahead and turn that on. And as you guys see, when we go over here, you can actually zoom in on stuff that you can't read. So if you can't read stuff, you can actually use this as a magnifying class, a virtual magnifying class, which I thought was really cool. You're gonna go ahead and use two fingers to use this. And yeah, it just works very, very well. So if you guys wanna go ahead and use this, maybe on an article, or you guys are hard of seeing, definitely a great thing to do. And if you just wanna go ahead and lock that, you can go ahead and do that as well. If you wanna make it smaller, you can do that, medium and full screen. And if you guys don't wanna use it anymore, Guys, click on that, click X. 
So very, very useful feature. Last feature I'm going to be talking about in this video is finger sensor gestures. So we're gonna go into settings again. I know a lot of these features are in the settings, but we're gonna type in finger sensor gestures. So we typed in finger sensor, we're gonna go ahead and click on that. So once we're here, we're gonna go ahead and click on finger sensor gestures. Now, as you guys see, we have a little description. It says open and close the notification panel using the finger sensor gesture. Go ahead and turn that on. Now, if we go ahead and use the fingerprint sensor, we can actually use the notification panel by sliding it down like that, which I thought was really cool. So let's go and test this out. Swipe it back up, swipe it down. Very, very simple. So if you guys wanna go and use that, that is always available for you. But hopefully you guys did enjoy these features. Hopefully this video helped you out. If you did, definitely go ahead and hit the subscribe button as well as the like button. I really appreciate everyone who's watching these videos. And if you guys wanna be a part of the tech gang, definitely turn on that notification bell so you didn't miss any videos in the future. This has been Safan from Techrite. Peace out, Tekking.